Well, hello, everybody. We're going live now out on uh, what we call uh, uh, Facebook, and uh, we don't have any fancy openings or anything like that because uh, we can't do that with this. But we are doing um, a show, uh, and we do it on Mondays. I don't know. We started this. I started this as a test, and now we seem to be uh, going uh, all the way with it. So let's uh, let's see here. First, we got uh, Len, who is a regular on our Monday shows. Uh, and I just uh, said, okay, Len, come on in. Hi, Len, how are you? Good afternoon, Alex, how are you? Yeah, what's, uh, what's new in your uh, neck of the woods? Uh, nothing. <laughs> You're out in California, right? Yeah, Livermore. Yeah, and uh, it's the number one state for the virus now. Yeah, we're number one. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, how, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm surviving, you know, the best yeah. that I can, all things considered. Yeah, it, it's just tough. I mean, we just, there's nothing to do, no place to go. It's, it's the worst thing I've ever gone through in my 60 years. Well, you know what I can't figure out about me? is that um, I have been, you know, among other things, going through uh, a cancer thing with prostate cancer, which it looks like they got it. Okay, wait a minute, let me let uh, Andrew Deutsch in. Okay, uh, hold on a second, we'll see if he joins us. Uh, there we go. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Good I'm doing great, how are you guys? Anyway, here's the thing I can't figure out. I got, I got that cancer thing, right? We pretty well uh, took care of it. I mean, it, uh, the radiation seemed to work, and the PSA number is so low that I almost don't have a prostate. And everything, <laughs> right? And I went through all of that, and it's amazing. I went through it without panicking, without, I mean, you can ask my wife. I, pan I should be panicking about something like this, and I didn't panic about it. I went, go, we'll get the radiation, and we'll do the, this, and we'll do that. But meanwhile, yesterday, I realized I have a loose filling. <laughs> and I'm going crazy over this. Just to okay. clarify, loose filling not in your prostate, right? Has nothing to do with my prostate. <laughs> a loose filling, which means, oh, hey, I might have to have a root canal, whatever. But it, I, and this, I'm stressing over. I wasn't yeah. stressing over the prostate cancer. Now, go figure that one. Well, you don't want to expose yourself, you know, to a guy that's going to stand this close to your face and work on your, your teeth. <laughs> well, I, you know what my biggest fear is? Getting down to the dentist who's in mm -hmm. midtown Manhattan, where yeah. I'm going to probably have to take a 40-buck cab ride to get there, a car ride, yeah. because I don't want to take the subway. Although I've been told that the subway is just super clean. Oh, guess huh. what we have joining us? Uh, my, uh, my Did you figure it out? Hey, look who's there. Wait a minute, turn on your camera. Uh, uh, hold on. What are you guys, in two different rooms in the same house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing wrong? Where's the camera? Bottom left of the screen, you'll see a, a camera with a line through it. Click on it. You guys might want to meet in the kitchen and, and talk. <laughs> I don't know. Social distancing. Uh, Wait a minute. But there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. She is in the kitchen. I am in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. This thing works better than the old telex, huh? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Happy Monday. Well, I was just telling them, Marjorie, oh that when I had the whole cancer thing, I wasn't going batty over it. I really, did you ever hear me really fret, fretting about it? No, but it's the goddamn truth. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Wait a minute. Well, that's what I was telling them. And I, you got a towel over you, Shecky? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Alex. No, I, I shaved today for your program, and there was a little bit of blood dripping from my chin. Oh, wow. I just shower for the program. Wow. I, I just shower? put the crap out no, of my you fingers. Didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, I did. You. I took a shower. That's how you see my hair down. Otherwise, it's in a ponytail. Here comes Brian Neary. Uh, this is becoming is popular. Oh, look. hey, Alex. Yeah. Remember Breakfast with Bennett? Yeah. 
Now it's, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Some of those videotapes. Wait a minute, Brian. Really? All, I'm getting, all I'm getting is blue. Uh, I have my undercover top secret tape on there. Ah, there, there you are. <laughs> Ooh, who's that lady? She looks very familiar. Hey. Hi, Marjorie. Hi. Hi, Brian. We just need Marjorie on there. We don't need Alex today. We just talked to you. Yeah. I'm in a different room. I'm in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that gray-haired old lady there. Is wow. I told you I like her hair the way it looks. In I've that. gone gray. No, you weren't well. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it, it's going to take another year. We, love, we exactly. loved you in that Dalmatians movie. <laughs> <laughs> Firestone. I like the sign, Alex. Firestone, is that Firestone Tires in the back? Yes, 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 yes. Where'd that come from? Um, I scavenged it years ago. Oh, really? Nice. Uh -huh. yeah. Did, Alex, didn't you, say, didn't you say in the kitchen you had your... Uh, your neon sign from oh, Penn's. Oh, should I turn it on, Alex? I'll, I'll light oh, it on. Okay. <laughs> turn it on, and then you got to. I've never actually <laughs> seen it. Okay. Do I have to uh, put this in reverse? No. How do I, do no, I flip it? Yeah, How just I, flip, it, flip the camera. There's no flip. Just move the can. Turn the camera around. Don't you don't have to see yourself. There we go. Oh, that's oh. Uh, wait, 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 hold oh, not quite on it. Wait, 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 right there. Oh, there we go. That right. is brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've always wanted to go see that. Bit. Go up a little bit, Marjorie. Oh, it says, "I love you, Alex." No, Marjorie, move yeah. it up. Move the camera up, 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 up. up. Just a little picture. bit. Just there you go. There, there we go. Oh, that's oh, right there. Yeah, that's it. That's the famous. That's great. Right? I, I have perfect. always wanted to see that. That was given to me by Penn and Teller. It's falling apart, so I got to get it. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. want to move it. Um, but that was a, they. It was a part of a joke that we were playing with each other. We kept saying "fuck you" to each other in various ways, <laughs> and uh, you know, it started out with something as simple as "fuck you," "fuck me," "fuck you." You know, this, that kind of. Thing. <laughs> and and one thing led to another, and we upped the ante, and we upped the ante, and we upped the ante. And uh, I don't know if I did it first or they did it first, but I it was did a show at the. Um, at the um, uh, Frost Amphitheater at Stanford with 9,000 people. <laughs> and you told them, would you all give the finger to the camera? So I have 9,000 people <laughs> giving the finger to the camera and I had it built, made into a big giant poster and framed and gave it to them and said, here, you know, because that's my ultimate fuck you. Right? <laughs> so they come back and they go, uh, Hey, Alex, good to see you this morning. Look over there in the newsroom. There's my partner, Teller. <laughs> Teller, Teller never came by because he was lucky. He never had to do morning shows because he didn't talk. He didn't talk. Okay. So, so Penn had to go out on all of them. So, but there he was. And he had this thing and he had it covered in a black cloth and he lifted it and it said, fuck you, Alex. And I said, you, you, I you win. You win. You know, that's it. That's the yeah, winning that's thing. So, I'm in solitary today. They have a. I'm in the building eight. We yeah. have a project going on. Yeah. And they just made us break for an hour, and I said, "Oh, that's too bad." <laughs> 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 so I'm over. What What is that? What, what kind of booth is that? Oh, there, there's nice the three ways. So, what looks like of, Mount the the Mount Diablo in the background there? Uh, Mount like Hamilton one one. is a little south from there. Uh, where Where are you? Are you in a You're in an office? Uh, no, I'm in solitary. See, this is the office. Is that the basement? <laughs> See, they have this. This is for what? Corona? Has this been built for the coronavirus? <laughs> no, no. It's just uh, <laughs> for meetings. Yeah. It's just like this small room. It has two benches, one on each side. Yeah. It has wow. air. No one is there. And it's just me and another chair across the room. Yeah. I went so it's for meetings because we've densified all these buildings. So it's really funny. We don't have much space here in Silicon Valley, but Google's buying everything. So we have everything densified in the workstation area. And then they have these for private meetings. And now with Corona, yeah. now they have to go and move everything back out. Look at what Andrew did. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> 
You're not getting well, yeah. monetized today. <laughs> yeah, my kid. No, I've got. Well, hey. Oh, where did that come from? What? What? Who did that? Who did that? Wrong area. Wrong oh. way. Other way. Boy, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did that pretty fast, Andrew. <laughs> Toilet paper. When there's, mis Alex, Alex when there's mischief to, to be screen. had. <laughs> What'd you say, Marjorie? You want to get a green screen. Green screen. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of getting one. Yeah. yeah uh, Andrew has, uh, Howard has one out in Hawaii. That's how he does that, and it looks pretty good, you know. Yeah. Whereas the one that comes with Zoom is kind of, eh, you know. Uh, works for me. <laughs> yeah, it does work for you. It looks good. Looks good. But anyway, so um, uh, where was I? Oh, we, we started with Len, and I was just asking about what was happening there. You're where again in California? You're Livermore. Livermore. And uh, Brian, you're in? Uh, Santa, well, I'm in Sunnyvale right now, Silicon Valley. Google's everywhere right here, everything. This is just Apple, everything. Google's everywhere? Yeah, they bought up our land. So oh, they've really? been buying up on 237. So we have uh, about nine more years left, and then we're getting kicked out. That's why we're building all these new. I'll uh, tell you what. Stores. I'll tell you what trumped. I hate to use the term. Trumped uh, 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 any of these companies was what Apple built. That building, the round building. That's terrific. It was terrific. I would not want to be in commercial real estate right now. No, <laughs> no, no. Because they're realizing everybody can work at home and maybe come in once in a while. Um, and that that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask let me ask Shecky something because uh, this so when's your next cruise, Shecky? Uh, <laughs> December until it gets canceled. You've got one scheduled for December. Yes, Christmas, New Year's. That's too Shecky, early, Shecky. Shecky this was the virus king. will still be Shecky going. Was the king of... But I should be in the British Isles right now on a cruise. <laughs> I'm here in Queen. <laughs> yeah. How many, how many cruises have you done? Queen. He does. He does. 30 cruises. 30 yeah, cruises? Yeah, I'm up, I'm up to about 22 myself. Well, he, to, he did some pretty exotic one. ones. What was the most exotic he did? The, the, uh... Well, I guess Antarctica, the Galapagos. Oh, wow. Amazon, mm -hmm. China, you know, China. The Yangtze. You Yangtze. were on the, you were on the China trip with uh, with uh, Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek, yeah, wow. yeah. Funny. So you're the one that gave. And I didn't realize it was him for like four days. And someone said that's Alex Trebek, and I'm looking over and going, God, that guy looks like Alex Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> tell him though. Tell him though. You woke up one morning. In your little cabin on the boat, you're on the what river were you on? The Yangtze? The Yangtze. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, no, I'm actually in the dining room at that point. You're, you're in talking the about dining, the woman. The woman, and you look out the window. I look out the window. I didn't have my camera, so there are no pictures. Woman comes out of, I, let's call it the hut she was living in on the river. She takes down her pants, walks into the river. Squats. To, squats and poops. She squats and poops. Yeah, and then she walks back out, puts her pants on, and then about five minutes later, she leaves her hut and goes off to work or whatever she does. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Did you finish was, your breakfast? Yes. Oh, okay. But it was, I didn't think I had time to go back and get my camera to take a picture. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's just like being in India. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been in taxi. Then, you know, on the Yangtze, you, know, you would see dead cows and dead animals floating by the boat. In the water? Really? Yeah. Well, now, Andrew said he was in India, right? Yeah, same thing. I was, I was, I've been in cabs and seen people pull up their, their sari and shit over the edge of a bridge into the river. Oh, did, not below did, bathing. They, did they, did they apologize? Body. Did they apologize by saying they were sorry? I don't know. I don't speak Hindi, but... But you'd see dead animals. I saw a dead person floating down the river while people are doing their laundry and bathing in the river. Wow. Going there in September. Just, just another day. You're going there in <laughs> September? I have to go to India and China back to back right when they re released the top We're in China. Well, but suppose you can't travel. Suppose I want to leave. Yeah, well, we get pushed out. and We're having to do training and, and validation for all these machines for, for COVID and for MTB all by video and stuff we're trying to do. Yeah, but in China. I mean, but I mean, um, 
Oh, look who's I, joining us. I forget we're in China, though. Look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. My former producer, and I wish he still were. Albert. Uh, yes, and and uh, and also a uh, good friend. And uh, 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 are you there, Albert? He's, he's connecting. It says Albert is connecting, connecting to, to audio. audio. Put your video on. It's yeah. abracadabra. <laughs> We're waiting for Albert. They're connecting to audio. There he now goes. Now we're going to get his picture. There, there he is. is. Oh, hey. he's walking. Who is that hey, master? Turn, turn your camera sideways so we can get more of a panoramic view, Albert. Can you hear me? He's got a, he doesn't have his mic on. It's muted. Oh, your mic is muted. Well, he can't hear us, bro. Actually, no, it's not. It doesn't say muted. We just can't hear anything. Well, let me see here. No, you're right. I can see. Oh, put your phone on speaker. Put your phone on speaker. Can you hear us, Albert? He's working on it. Oh, yeah. Should I make a note? Huh? This is this is your engineer <laughs> that worked on your show. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is my producer, <laughs> the best producer I note. ever had. I mean, he what was. What am I just, saying? Turn off mute. He he was just amazing, you know. Which show was he producer for? Uh, for Sirius XM. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And he kind of was a sidekick. I mean, he was always Albert. involved. In Turn off mute. No, he's not on mute. Not he on mute. mute. Speaker, speaker phone. To... Oh, speaker phone. Okay, hold on. He needs to enable his microphone. Okay. That's right. what you need to run. Marjorie enable is... microphone. She's here. Here, I put this. a speaker phone on. Okay. Okay. He gave up. Uh, he's gone. He'll come yeah. back and it'll work. <laughs> So sometimes when you're on a phone and you don't have good internet connection, the audio is buggy. Oh, really? That's what I've yeah, discovered yeah. when I'm showing real estate. Sometimes it goes in and out. Yeah. Now you show, you, a, yeah. I'm you're sorry. in Hawaii, Very by the way. He, how yeah. in Hawaii. And you sell real estate? Yes. Houses and condos. Oh, oh how nice. nice. Can you hear us, Albert? Albert, can you hear us? Can't Raise hear your us. hand if you can. Show your thumb if you can hear us. Raise your hand if you can. Raise answer. your hand. Raise your hand if you're sure. Pogo dance if you can hear us. He, it, well, he's trying to talk. Yeah, yeah but we can't hear you. He's got a mask on. <laughs> Albert. Oh, if he's got a mask on, he has no oxygen. Albert, <laughs> oh. look. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Right. I've discovered that Zoom is better quality than FaceTime when trying to communicate with people and I'm out showing stuff to people yeah. that well, aren't here. Group. With the group. I think it's better quality than, than Skype. Oh, Skype, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, but surprisingly, it's even better than Apple on an Apple product. Yeah. Really? It, yes. Well, Apple has never been able to come up with uh, things like, uh, you know, FaceTime isn't that good, okay? And it it's isn't not bad. Open. It's, it's not just, that robust, though. You can't get three, four, five people on Facebook. You, you, you can, can, but now. it's not as good as Zoom. Yeah. yeah. I find 90% of my meetings are in this, the other 10 on Teams, which is what Skype is becoming. Yeah. By the way, uh, I think Zoom is owned by a Taiwan company or something yes. like that. Yeah. Oh, then Trump will try to shut them down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was TikTok. <laughs> No, no, it's the Zoom is next on the list. They they created a lie about security. Uh, the security. The security was that they made it too easy for people to jump on, and they've already fixed it. There isn't another security concern that I'm aware of. Well, like my office in in China uses it, but they use passwords, and you know they make it a little but more TikTok, difficult. No, you're not talking about TikTok. Is it TikTok? No, it's Zoom, 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 Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. Uh, but did you see today that Trump wants a piece of the TikTok sale? Yeah. Microsoft oh, Fox. brother. Yeah, because he's a free market, you know. Why capitalist. does he want a portion of the TikTok sale, and what gives him the? Now that's he doesn't want it for himself. He wants. Is he, yeah, yeah, he wants. He wants well, it for the government because he's forcing the sale. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard. Of him. He's kind of a jerk. Albert. <laughs> Wait a minute. So. So. Maybe I can unmute him from here. No. No, he's he's now muted. The mute's on and off. I, or, I finally figured it out. Oh, we can hear yeah. yeah. hey. Technology, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> turn your camera. Turn your camera sideways so that we can get a panoramic view. Where are you, Albert? I'm taking a five-mile walk. 
How far Marjorie. into it are you? Uh, about you two miles in. Good for you. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't look like Alaska. What city are you in? I'm uh, Port St. Lucie. Oh, okay. Who is that? I can barely see. Well, we've got uh, we've got Len. Wave your hand, uh -huh. Len. And then we got me. I know you. And then we got Andrew Deutsch. And you then got me. Howard. Howard. Uh, I know Dennis. that lady. Looks Dennis. wonderful. How do you pronounce that? Dinitz. Dinitz. D Howard Dinitz sounds like some name backwards. Dennis. Howard Dinitz. Uh, yeah, he's in Hawaii. And then there's Marjorie Miller. She is in my kitchen. Uh -huh. uh, and then there's Shecky. He's, Shecky. Yeah. Where's Shecky? I haven't seen Shecky yet. It's yeah. Shecky, right above you. <laughs> if he speaks, he'll pop up on your screen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Say something, Shecky. And so Brian. And here's Brian. Bye, Albert. It's Brian. Let me, and see, then... let me see. Let me let me scroll through here. Shecky, where's Shecky? I don't see. Oh yeah, oh, Shecky. Shake your hand, Shecky. Yeah. Nice iPad hand, three. Shecky. Shecky is iPad three. I see him. Right. Yeah, because on the phone you have to scroll through the different groups of people. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I, I never used the phone before, but I'm getting used to it. I'm sorry. Go ahead and talk about what you wanted to talk about. Just I look for the guy in there. Phone. Well, anyway, so he wants he wants portion of the sale of TikTok to Microsoft to go to what the government or Trump? Well, he says the government, but you know what that means. Yeah, yeah it means him. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody. But when somebody buys another company, he has to pay the government money. Well, because he apparently is brokering the deal. <laughs> well, also, that's what Putin does. He takes a piece of everything. Yep. Yeah. My yeah. kids say TikTok is fine. Donald gets a piece. You know. Yeah, my, my kids say all the TikTokers already know all the ways to get around it if they do something to ban it in the U.S. Get in a, a Canada VPN. They're going through the list. All the right, exactly. Already. exactly. They know exactly what to do. And they, they're already for it. They said if he does it, it'll be more TikTokers. So, yeah. well, the only reason he wants to do it is because those kids are so clever to, to, to organize on TikTok to buy all those tickets. He's pissed. To, He's to, pissed. to the Herman King yeah. Memorial Oh, that's Memorial, right. Uh, that's right. Yep. Yep. That's He's pissed expecting. because of that. Yep. And by the way, if you want to have fun, it's the Herman King Memorial Rally in, in Oklahoma. Oh, God. <laughs> Trump will go to that funeral. Yeah, and he won't go to Lewis. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't okay, even wait, go wait see him in the Capitol. Well, Lewis never sold Godfather's Pizza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh, Albert. Uh, you're, you're saying that Donald Trump wants to get rid of TikTok? He wants a piece. Well, no, oh. he wants to get rid of it because it's Chinese. But if Microsoft buys it, he wants a piece of the sale price. Well, I, heard, I heard about that, but I, I thought he wanted to get rid of Lickcock, which upset me very much. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I know it's not that, then I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. Yeah, I'm well, at work. I need to turn down my volume. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. You know I'm here now. <laughs> yeah, well, it, you know, they, he found out that, that TikTok is the Chinese word for MSG. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You know, and then Trump wants to bar journalists from the phony convention he's running in August. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's why the OAN people are going to be there, because they're not really journalists. Right. Yeah. Um, what a and he doesn't know where he's going to make his speech, because he's waiting for the right venue that will be so patriotic. It will probably be, if, if the rate he's going, it's going to be his toilet. Doesn't, doesn't the, wait, doesn't the client own a town hall somewhere? Doesn't, doesn't what? Doesn't the client own a town hall somewhere. They could, yeah. Well, he'd be at David Duke's house, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. At yeah, David Duke's house is better because you can get a discount on those crosses to burn. They, they mass produce them there. <laughs> and those facial masks. Yeah. The, um, um, it's interesting. Um, I have a, an item here that uh, uh, actually did some prep. See, oh Albert, God. I did prep. I oh, my God. God. I got to go then. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did prep. But he used to put out a prep page for me every day, and that was, that was, that was the best thing I had. It was almost like a... Ben Samuels is turning over in her grave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in the other room. It's Where? too hot in here. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> it's going into the. Oh, now you can be able to see our bedroom. No, where the magic happens. happens. <laughs> no magic happens where, in where, our bedroom. Where, where dreams go to die. Uh, it's so nice and cool in here. Uh, under this, this item, under constant pressure from the white hat, the excuse me, let me put on my glasses. Under uh, constant pressure from a White House anxious for good news and, and a public desperate for a silver bullet to end the crisis, the government researchers are fearful of a political intervention in the coming months and are struggling to ensure that the government maintains the right balance between speed and rigorous regulation. In other words, what they're worried about is, is that for political reasons, we're going to go and get ourselves a vaccine before it's ready. That or he'll give it out to his people. No, that he wants it out. Well, then he'll his people. But he <laughs> wants it out and that you can't rush this sort of thing. He wants it before the election. He was, he was the, trying to find out what the modern equivalent of the Tuskegee, uh, what was that, that experiment they did here? The Tuskegee experiment. So wait a minute, wait a minute. He, uh, it also says, even in less politically charged environment, there would be a fraught, de fraught debate about how much to accelerate the process of trials and approval. The longer the vaccine- Turn off the volume. The Wait a minute. Well, what's that noise? It's, it's Brits Albert. Tell them to turn off the volume. Oh. Turn off the Put volume. On. How do I do that? Put on pause. Mute. They got to be mute. Good job. Uh, the longer the vaccines are tested before being released, the likelier they are to be safe and effective. So if they rush something, it might not be safe and effective. And he'll try to do it before the election. Is that well, they do, they do oh, like we did. You know. And then he's going to take like, credit for it. What were you saying, Shecky? No, I said, isn't that hydrochlorine, whatever the hell? Well, chlora, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foxychlorine, like, whatever. He's got some money in that. I bet he's invested in that. No, the sun does. Sun? Um, yeah. Have you have you seen the video of the Nigerian doctor? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, no, not yes. the original one. The one, the one that he refers to as being a little bright, and the demons told her about the oh no, yeah, no, no, no. that one's not the, the Houston no. the 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 Texas some Texas newspaper sat her down and interviewed her. It's like the a black woman. Yeah, it's a fifteen yeah. minute interview, and at about the eleventh minute of the interview, he makes a comment, and she goes, "Well, demons are real." <laughs> and, and and thank thank goodness for CNN because they've they've expanded my church now I have five hundred thousand more people listening and the people at CNN are in there they they have demons and I dare them to come to my church they'd be writhing on the floor while I exercise the demons from them is, and this is a doc how did she get to be a doctor it's the greatest I'm gonna I'm gonna find the link and put it in the chat because you, you right got, and she's a doctor and he doesn't know her name but he but but he likes what she says he's an important voice yes yeah, she's a very important voice thank you you're right wow, yeah. I'm wow. Gonna find, I'm and gonna she'll find. be the next surgeon general <laughs> <laughs> yes well, I said the other night that, you know, if I want good medical advice, the first person I'm going to is Donald Trump. Why he ran for president when he could have been the Surgeon General is being Of course. Honest. You know. Well, he had an uncle who was a doctor. Okay. Really? Well, that's yeah. what he <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I just put the link in the chat if anybody wants it. Okay, yeah. thank the you. The reason I think he's gone after TikTok Sarah Cooper. Have you seen Sarah Cooper? Brilliant. Oh, she's yeah. great. Brilliant. She's terrific. Yeah. He yeah. She puts a smile on my oh, face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He well, has from... to memorize everything, or at least no. A, I, I saw a thing with her. That's not how they do it. How does she do it? She if writes notice, it out? If you notice, there's a lot of editing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what she does, she does it like a, a, a sentence at a time. Yep. And, and she does it till she gets it right. Right. And so then they edit them together to get the whole piece. Yeah, by okay. the way, Trump had another uncle who was a proctologist, and that's why he's such an asshole. <laughs> same, same, same method. But when I was a kid, <laughs> the thing I used to do was a lip sync act. I would lip sync to records. Yeah. Things like that. We all did that. And, and I was very good at it. Uh, very, very right on with the with the uh, with the lip syncing. Uh, but I see her do that, and I could, in my best days, never have done that. 
she's brilliant. I mean, she's I mean, got it down. I could do a record because people singing has a certain meter to it and so on. But when you're just doing somebody who's talking and goes, uh, and so on. And to but her expressions it. fit. I mean, the, yeah. she's got it down. Pat. Well, she's, really. she's an ex Google, Google employee. Oh, really? Who, and she wrote a book that I have called something. It's a, a ways, ways to look smart in a meeting. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, yeah. it, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Like, for example, whenever anybody presents, you say, is it scalable? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the book is absolutely, I've, I've had it for, for a while, and I, I've used it in meetings as a joke. What's the this, is, this, this is one thing I'm doing smart to make, make I look smart. I'm, I'm in this room. It looks like I'm on a conference call for important people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, is it scalable and, and add, you know, draw a Venn diagram, even though... <laughs> It doesn't mean anything, and get other people in the room to fix to it. To chat about it. Well, you make it wrong, so other people have to participate in it, and you you lead them. <laughs> she's good. She puts a smile on my face. She's brilliant. Yes, she's, she really uh, is. You, were you waving there, Brian? No, I'm just saying I look smart being in this room. It looks like I'm on an important conference call. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are with us. Well, you should. You tell them that you are. So. <laughs> Is Joe Biden screwing up this vice presidential announcement? No. What do you mean? How, how, do, you, how do you? Well, he doesn't seem to know who he's, he's pushed it off another week again. Well, that's okay. Oh, no. I, mean, I think really, they're being very smart about it. They usually don't do it until the convention. So he'll do it right he he they, They've been doing it in advance. Like, the I'm last. not picking. He's he, getting he, great he, media. He painted into a corner. Yeah. That he has to get a woman. Yep. And then and course, be black. Saying, a black woman. No, and then he, he didn't say a black woman. What happened was he was in a debate or something with uh, uh, February Bernie, with Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders said, well, who are you going to get as a vice presidential candidate? Are you going to use a woman? He says, yes, I'm going to get a woman as my vice presidential candidate. So he was painted into that. And then all the black groups go, I mean, where are the Asian groups saying we want an Asian woman? Or where are the or Hispanics group saying we want a Hispanic uh, a woman? Well, you could throw the Jewish in there too. Jewish? Oh, listen, we're never. Gonna, we're, that's one <laughs> never thing. Never happened. Not in our lifetime. You know, Jewish the alien DNA. Yeah. What? Most oh, alien DNA to fight off the COVID. Yeah, exactly. That's where all the vaccines come from. We're missing a couple really? of people today. Robert hasn't called today, although he's calling the nighttime show all the time. And uh, uh, who was the other guy? The other guy here in New York. I'm trying to remember his name now. He isn't here today either. But hey, Shecky, from a marketing perspective, if I was running his campaign, I would push it off even another week. What? The what's, happening, what's happening is he's well, getting all these media Years ago, they did announce it at the convention. Yeah, the, the mm -hmm. amount of speculation is getting him real positive, even, even on the Fox News and the other ones in speculation. Because they're talking about the strengths of these VPs. Yeah. And, you know, I, well, I, 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 I disagree that he's doing it wrong. I think it's the opposite. The, he's whole, got, he's, the whole idea of conventions and so on has changed. Uh, of because course. Because when I was a kid, when I was a kid, we used to sit there and watch them battle it out on the convention. You used to in the newspaper would have a chart of the yeah. delegates. Each yes. State, yes. And you, You'd be putting in, you know, the number in until you got to whatever it was. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and and it was never decided ahead of time, and now it's very rarely not determined ahead of time. Do you think they're going to have a debate, the two of them? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And if Biden has, well, has they have three scheduled. Guys, they have three scheduled. Yeah, yeah, one of the first ones going to be here in Cleveland at the Cleveland Clinic Center, which was going to be in Notre Dame, I think. Yeah, Notre Dame canceled it, and they, they're doing it here. There's no but, audience, though, right? No, no, there won't be an audience this year. I don't know. And they can like the baseball game. I, you know why? You know why they're doing three of them? Why? NBC, CBS, ABC. Oh. Yeah, or CNN. Oh, it's probably or CNN, Fox, Fox and. Um, but from a strategy Boy, Alex, perspective, if Biden came out and said, I brought fact checkers, if you lie, the third lie, the debate's over. There's no reason for me to be here if you're not going to tell the truth. <laughs> Good. Give a little shock. Yes, Howard. I was just going to say, they'll do the debates just like baseball. They'll have little cardboard cutouts and then <laughs> type in the, like, the, the laugh tracks and the applause. 
<laughs> in their training. It would be wonderful if they put up a laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that would be really good. Uh, but, I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it's a strange year this year. It is. Election. I mean, of course we've got to do mail-in. I'm not going to any poll. Are you kidding? I'm going to vote in person because I don't trust the postmaster that Trump has well, put Well, he's in. cutting back on postal service. Correct. The, the, so the, the, good, thing, the good thing about mail-in ballots is they don't say you have to wait till election day to mail them in. You can mail them in. You can mail them in weeks ahead of time. Yeah. People are yeah. slowing up the postal well, service. You know, Hmm? Luckily, my polling place is across the street from the house, so it's so not a big ours. Yeah, and I'm beginning, to think, so. I'm beginning to think that going to places like a polling place and whatever in this day and age is not a problem, really. Well, I voted in June. I walked in. There was one person in front of me. They handed me the ballot, and I was out in four minutes. Yeah, yeah. I did it by mail. I'll tell you where I'm worried. Is when I go out, we went down to the store today, and we have these homeless people that are oh. surrounding our apartment because they put up one of these protective things, you know, because we're going to do some work on the building. Some work, two years. Which they've never done. Right, and, two years. And, and, and move in. Huh? They've all moved under it's the shelter. Sure. With yeah, chairs they, and sofas. Yeah, they had a sofa there. We had to remove, have that removed. Yeah. I mean, but they don't wear masks. And they're on the street, they're yelling at people. So you got to walk in the other direction. And then you're coming down the street. And, and they're sitting at the bus station, so they're taking all yeah. those seats. So you got to walk in the street to avoid them. Yeah. You know, I mean, those are, I'm worried in this neighborhood because there are so many people not wearing masks. Like I was watching Reverend Al Sharpton yesterday. MSNBC, and he got into this rant about how terrible it is. Uh, for black people in this country and the voting and the pandemic and this and that, and, uh, and how they're ad uh, adversely affected by the virus. And there are reasons for that. I mean, a lot of them live in public housing. That's, uh, you know, that's a Petri dish and uh, a lot of other things. But he didn't say, and it's also because goddamn black people in our neighborhood don't wear masks. You know, I would you know, say it's fifty percent. No, it isn't. I yes, counted is. one day. I got eighty percent didn't wear them. It's fifty. Eighty. It's well, 80. did you see they had a rave under did the Casa Bridge on Saturday night? <laughs> yes, I saw that. You know, like I mean, come on. I well, mean, the, I, the big event, the big event, guys coming up. I'm excited. Is Sturgis? Oh, Sturgis. Two hundred eighty thousand oh. Trump voters coming. Coming They're together. talking about this big motorcycle yep. thing in California with two or three hundred people. Well, it's, no, it's, it's South Dakota. It's in Sturgis, South Dakota. South Dakota. But people right. come from all over the country to the Petri dish, and then they go home to infect their Republican families. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, to this day, you know, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trump was uh, saying how sad he was that uh, Howard, uh, what was his name? The black guy. Um, oh, um, Herman Cain. Herman uh, uh, King uh, died. He said how horrible it was that he died. Yeah, because he went he to a rally. He, he didn't to he to mention Tulsa. that. Well, of course, he did come to my rally and caught it there. He said that? No, he didn't. Oh. He didn't even make allusion to it. Oh, I'm just sorry to hear he's dead. But I mean, let's face it Donald Trump killed Herman Cain. Yes. yes. Killer. Killer. Right or am I wrong? Show the pictures. Herman Cain is sitting there smiling among all these people with no masks. No masks, so, next to yeah. each other, very close. And yeah. he, well, he had comorbidities. He had had, a, what, a heart attack or something like that? Or he had cancer, I think, in the two th early 2000s. Yeah, but still, that's a comorbidity <laughs> because it weakens your immune system. Immune system. Like, I think that the fact that prostate cancer I had is no big deal, right? Here well, we go. I, but no, but I do think it is a comorbidity for me because it is cancer. So yeah. people have cancer on that comorbidity list, as are people with heart problems, diabetes, uh, and uh, they're all in this neighborhood. Obese. Yeah. And obese. You know what? You know what? This, uh, Sharpton said this yesterday. Do you know that four out of five black women are overweight? Wow. You're kidding. 
<laughs> well, no, if I said that without having said first that, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, yeah, a black gentleman said it. A black gentleman said it. But he said it. He said, we have to do more about health and so on. He said, but four, four out of five women in America, black women, are obese. I so, would. We've got to decide yeah. as a country, we have to, that when you yeah. talk about healthy eating, you're not fat shaming. Well, in a lot of poor sections, they don't have supermarkets. Well, you should do that. You should. Even in the Midwest, and you go to those buffets, and it's all mac and cheese yeah. and starch. Yeah. And the fat fat the shaming doesn't work. work. I, I, used, I used to weigh 365, and when people would make fun of me for being the size of a house, that wasn't what caused me to, to change. It was when I recognized I needed to change my career and eat differently to get my health back. That's how most people lose weight. Being shamed just makes you go out and find another box of Oreos. Oh, I, I, lost, I lost 60 pounds, and I think at this point it's maybe 40 instead of the 60, because they said that uh, there's a thing called the quarantine 15. Yep. That uh, people in quarantine probably will gain 15 pounds, no matter how hard you try to diet and everything else, because, you yeah. know. I well, on the other hand, Marjorie does the... Uh, 50 miles, what is it, 40 miles, 14 miles, 15 miles? 14, I mean, no, I did 15 today. On her Peloton. On the Peloton. That's great. Yeah, so she's yeah. in great health. Me, I've gained 15 pounds at least. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because my office in China, they do these little things that kind of have like team spirit. So they broke everybody up in teams and it was like a weight thing. So every huh. week I have to weigh myself and then convert it to kilograms and send it into them. So I actually gained a pound this, I gained a kilogram this week. Really? Well, it's, yeah. And you it's do what, two price? pounds or a pound? God, I would think you would be just skinny as a rail. You are actually pretty thin. It's just that gravity has overtaken your body. Well, since the beginning of COVID, I've lost five pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is That's like a good. gain. I haven't even got on the scale. I'm afraid to. It's, it's the bike. I'm sure it's I'm the bike. I Alex, that's how it happens, is well, when you don't get on the scale. Well, well, the thing is that I, I don't get on the scale because I know I've gained weight. And I know I'm not. He doesn't want to see it. I and I don't I'm want not, to hear I'm it. I'm not eating badly. He'll be but that thin, but You look thin. So what's and, the big yeah, deal? And I haven't, Thank you, Shaking. Thank I haven't, you. I haven't gained. Uh, I, I can still get into my pants. Okay. All right. That's all the counts. Alex. That's all the counts, right? When I you have to lie down to put your pants on, then you know you you got a problem. But Do you have uh, elastic on those pants? Of course. This no, not on these. Boots? Not on these. <laughs> San, San you have elastic. Oh, these have a button, so they're the uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> but you know, well, let's face it. Uh, there are days that go by that I don't put my pants on. Neither of us. In fact, we said the other yeah, day when that's the plumber That's what came, happens in a quarantine. You we, we were like in our team. underpants. We said, well, we better put some clothes on because they're coming. Yeah. Well, I said I shaved and took a shower because I was going to like Zoom with you today. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. And you smell right. terrific. You smell terrific. Thank you. I took a shower too, Shecky. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll be it for the week. You know, we have yes, a hard absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Well, I uh, sometimes I just have forgotten all the other. Now I have to go to the dentist and get this filling taken. Enough. We take care of it. We don't want to hear uh, it. But I can't go tomorrow because there's going to be a hurricane hitting the city. We have weather watch tomorrow. You know, the mayor is putting sandbags on the low down by, you know, the. Um... Around his wife? <laughs> uh. No, downtown. Yeah. Lower Manhattan? He's putting sandbags out. At the bottom of Manhattan? Yeah, yeah. At the you tip. know, our mayor is yeah. an idiot. You know that? I, I, every time <laughs> I watch him on TV, he just, he's a, such a moron. But our governor is great. I oh, like he's him. terrific. He's great. Although but I, he wasn't wearing a mask when he went to Georgia last week, you know. Well, I, I was watching a thing that Fox did about him. And they were just putting him down saying, well, he, there were 23,000 deaths in New York. What? A, that's under Cuomo. And well, I'll, yeah, we didn't know it was coming from uh, Europe. But we don't have them at the moment. Well, well Texas, well, Texas well, Florida, pick a Republican state. Yeah, right. we, 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 Arizona. We turned the whole 
uh, we did we, it. I mean, whatever you want to say no. about good or bad. What we he did, did is he did we, it. we plateaued, but we didn't plateau. We went up and then we started and then down. But down. you have to give them credit. You have to give New Yorkers credit. They did it too. Yeah, they did it. Yeah. Well, but you know, Mr. Trump said when it gets really, really hot, it's going to go away. Uh -huh. Right. It, it did. Well, you, know you, you know what really, really hot did? It made people get out of their houses and go outside. They and went under the Casio Bridge to go have a rave. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, was, <laughs> it was easy for everybody in New York to be quarantined and to it was do their winter. part when winter. it was freezing outside. Yeah. Am I right, Brian? Brian's nodding. Yeah. That's a good it's reason. It's true. It's right. Yeah. You know, and I told you, I, I remember I told you, I said, the minute the, everything warms up, this is going to be a whole new game. And secondly, people are going to go nuts and they're going to be killings. Huh. You know, everybody's going to get that cooped but up. But it's all, almost all black on black killings. Well, I know it's black on black killings, but nonetheless, it was a reaction to being it's a killing. put in all you know, all winter. That and the fucking fireworks. I, what is with the fireworks? I, they're still uh, doing them. Really? Yes. That was over. Yeah, you, Len, you're giving a yes, right? You know what I'm China. talking about. Do you have them out there? Yep, not in Hawaii. Every, every single night. Every single wow. night. I haven't, we, well, I live out of the city, but we don't. Of course, of course the president's sending federal troops to, to quell the violence here in Cleveland, and there isn't any. And Chicago. There hasn't been any anything of, of merit, whatever. And the the one day we had the big protests, the photographers caught all these guys that were at, that were right wingers pretending to be Antifa. Right, right. Now yeah, they're taking Portland down as those people, you know, the stormtroopers are leaving. Everything is calmed down. Of course, and it was calm before they came. It was fine. Well, uh, you know, I mean, in uh, Portland, they started uh, the uh, uh, Homeland Security started uh, spying or on or keeping tabs on the journalists. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, come on, this is a game to feel like we are this is like Hitler, of this a is banana how Hitler public spoke. without the benefit of bananas. All fourteen tenets of of fascism. Are are being being taken care of by Trump? Yeah, it's clear. There's it, this election. This election is going to be in his mind. He can win it by creating violence in the streets, suppressing the vote, and and coming up with some sort of October surprise miracle vaccine that you yeah. can nuts to take. Which also you can't get because he won't give it to anyone. Well, there, there was a, um, there was, I don't know if I have it here, but I read a, a member of Congress who said he really thinks that Trump is not going to leave. A lot of them are saying that. A lot of people have said that. They've you said know. it for months. And, and that he's going to, you know. He's, he's gonna, already said it. I said it two years ago. I mean, <laughs> what, what has to happen is to begin with, the election has to be a real trouncing. It can't okay. just be a glance. Okay. Yeah. It has to be a real trouncing where there's no argument about who won. Then, if he tries this stuff, we've got some course of action we can take. The other courses of action he's going to take is he's going to try and hold off being leaving office by saying, I want it investigated. I want to go. Well, he's going to send it to the courts. He's going to send it to yeah, the, the courts. But then Pelosi becomes president on January 20th because yep. it's the Constitution. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Pence will become no Pelosi. No. no. Speaker of the House. If you don't, if you don't legitimately elect a president by inauguration day, the Speaker of the House becomes President of the United States. Oh wow! I didn't know that. So yes. it's irrelevant in the sense that yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Well, goodbye, pal. <laughs> well, the only again, the only way that he doesn't leave is if he does is a coup. Of, of the country. Here's the other thing that if he gets trounced, okay, he's still going to be president for another couple of months. Two months. At least two, two and a half months. Two and a half months. In two and a half months, he can do so much damage to get yep. into this country. And we have to prevent him from doing that. Yep. The cabinet will have to put him out. They'll, they'll have to. They're all his puppets. So. Yeah, yeah but one of the things about. Yeah, but they're only his puppets because he has power. 
As soon but as all the people that he has in his acting, there should be a law that they can only be acting for a certain amount of time because they never were approved by Congress. And half his cabinet are acting people. Well, he makes them acting people because he can get rid of them easier if he doesn't like Well, them. and it doesn't need approval of Congress. Yeah. And most or, of his or skills for the job. Hey, Mayor. Are most of his appointments acting. And easy to mail this. That's right. Yeah. But I, even Republicans are starting to turn on him because they want to keep it. Totally. Just to get yeah. their senators elected. Well, they, uh, I think McConnell has said if... It, and well, McConnell at this point is like, hey, I'm seeing the writing on the wall. Well, he said, he said to, to uh, his uh, uh, senatorial candidates, the people who are running, yep. uh, if it serves you the best, not, Run away. To, not to back Trump, then back off of him. He said that? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. I haven't seen much in any of the... Uh, the Trump uh, advertising that we're getting pummeled. They with. pulled out of Michigan. It pulled, yeah, pulled out a lot of advertising right now. Yeah, yeah well, he's, he's of start, as of yesterday, he's no longer the favorite in Ohio. Wow. He's he's down by like half a point or one point. Well, you know, I mean, I, one here. I, I think there's a good shot that here's, here's what Biden has to do. Nothing. Yeah. Well, it's the old stay on the Don't porch. Screw up. You know, William yeah. McKinney. Stay on the porch, just yeah. lay low, let Trump make all his mistakes and let him sell the public on voting against him. You know, you know again, I why think, does a candidate have to go out? Stay on the porch. Yeah. Or stay in the basement or whatever they say he does. Well, you know, you know, he gives an occasional speech and that's a pretty safe thing to do. And then, you know, he doesn't do it with any gaffes in it. You know, then, then you know, just stay out of the way. Because Trump's going to win this election for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you want to well, show... Just on COVID as it is. Just on that and his handling. Terrible. Marjorie, do you want to show everybody our bedroom? I don't know how to turn it backwards. It would just turn it around. Where all the action happens. Where all the action happens. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you can see. The air conditioning. AC. See. <laughs> there's the air conditioning. Please stay cool. Okay. Now, there's another window. And well, what's out the window? Huh? Yeah. And there's, there's the tennis on the TV. Oh, so that's there's actually the Apple screensaver. We got it's panned down a little bit, Marjorie. They can see the new. Uh, uh, the new what? Uh, new flooring. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The you finally got wood air purifier. Right. Huh? Oh, that. Yeah. We there got we big, go. Big air purifier. There you go. Can you see it? I can't see what you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah, we saw it. Yeah, it's That's sexy. It. it. And, and sh uh, yeah, and show them. The show. Go up to the window and just point it out the window and show them the view we get. <laughs> Don't drop it. There we go. That's our view. Is that incredible? Oh, that's wow. an incredible view. Now show us a mugging. Show it down. <laughs> yeah. We should see it at night when all the colors are out. Yeah. When all of the course, you know, Ben, first movie palace in New York outside your right. window. It's on the corner. Yeah. 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 Um, he knows that because he's a big <laughs> movie guy. But uh, it was... Uh, Roxy. Roxy's first theater, movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was another theater, and Roxy took it over and made it into a movie palace. Yeah, and now it's a church. And now right. it's a church. And we, I, we should try and go over there one day. And right across the street from us, which has been empty for a while, was the original, um, uh, I can't think of the, the Jewish Catholic. appetizer store. Yeah. Uh, no, what's his name? Uh, uh, no, what, what, what's it? Name a couple of delicatessens um, around in New York. A famous one. I can't think of it. My mind is... Donnie's? Obviously. It was a name of somebody. Yeah. Donnie? Bobby's? No. <laughs> Luigi's? Max's? Billy's? Anyway, it was right across the street. Shlomo's? Shlomo's, yeah. <laughs> Did I hear that the uh, uh, the shop near us, what was it, Yona Schimmel's? Now that's still down there. It's still there? Yeah. They serve like uh, what? Uh, Kanish is it Kanish? Kanish, yeah. turnovers, things like that. Yeah, Prepla? The orders are still a block Stuff down. About I wonder Kanish. how Warp Ross and Daughters—they have that little cafe around the corner. They opened up. When, yeah, 
Yeah. When I was a kid, there was a restaurant in town called Gingsburg and Fong. It was it was uh, kosher Chinese food. I love it. Well, now, wait a minute. Let me tell you about this. She and I have had an argument constantly. Her. The one Who? Right there. Right there. Uh, uh, what? Who? You. Oh. Yeah. There's a place <laughs> called Fine and What? Oh, Shapiro. No, listen to her. Listen to her. Shapiro. I'm from Philadelphia, and we it's say Shapiro. It's not Shapiro. Shapiro. It's Shapiro. Shapiro. I keep telling her it's not Shapiro. It's Shapiro. Okay. I know. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, Alex, yeah. you're going to hate me, but I know Shapiro's and Shapiro's, two different families here in Cleveland. Thank but, you. But wait Thank a minute. We, we went in there to have lunch one day because she wanted to go there. And so I asked the manager of the place, how do you pronounce the last name of this place? And she, he said, Shapiro. He's not from Philadelphia, Alex. The, the, what, the, finding Shapiro's didn't start in Philadelphia. Shapiro. In New York. We pronounce it Finding Shapiro. Yeah, but they have closed. You say Shapiro and they've I closed? say Shapiro. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, uh, they're gone. They had the best. What's if you gone? were sick, I, and Shapiro's I would gone? always stop there. And they yeah. had a chicken in a pot with dumplings and vegetables and noodles. But if it's Shapiro, Shapiro, they should have cheesesteak, right? No. <laughs> it was a kosher. Well, it depends on how you pronounce it. If it's from Philly. From Philly with Shapiro. The cheesesteaks in Philadelphia are the best. Well, you'll be happy. I just got it on my watch. They've shipped our a drain pipe for the... Uh, uh, for the uh, Amazon? For the washer. <laughs> you going to fix that? Yeah, we got a guy to come in yesterday, and he put in the pump, and then he noticed that the... the uh, There's a hole. huge hole in the pipe. In the pipe leading out, that, that that's really where the water was coming from. But the uh, the, the compressed the you know the thing that pumps it, the pump was gone going anyway. So he we ordered we went online and ordered one from Amazon. After delivery, it cost or? more than the pump. The pump was only twenty two dollars. Oh really? Happens. He comes in, he looks at the thing, he says, "You're going to need a new pump." And I said, "Okay," I said. Where, how long does it take to get the pump? He says, it'll take about 10 days. And I'm going, well, wait just a minute. Because when my super came over, he said, you're going to have to replace the pump probably in there. Uh. So we ordered one. And so I said, is this the pump? And he looked at it and he said, uh. looks like it. Wait a minute, let me look it up. And sure enough, I had the pump. So he wow. installed it yesterday, but then he found the leak in the pipe. So I ordered yeah. that from Amazon as well. That was like 40 bucks. Such is the life. Such is the life. It's know. probably made in China. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, of course. So, yeah. And what do you think about Ellen DeGeneres now? Oh, yes. That's kind of well, you know, the Ellen, El, I used to, Her staff. Well, I, I, I'd like to say I knew her, but I didn't. I hired her for one of my comedy shows in San Francisco. For the, uh, I think it was the, yeah, it was the- uh, um, Breakfast. Called the, Breakfast with Bennett. No, the Frost, <laughs> no, it, was the Fro it was the Frost Amphitheater show we did. And uh, I found her to be very nice, you know, uh, at that time. Now, you know, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, so was Letterman back in 1980. Huh? Letterman was a nice, you know, she was nice. And he next. said the same thing. Steve Weiner will tell you, this will be the greatest experience of your life. And then things change. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what happens is sometimes, uh, sometimes it gets to be too much. You know, you, you get into this rut. She's done that for 17 years, doing the same stupid thing every day, dancing. Maybe it's just time to leave. You know. And and they say she was getting to hate the show and she hating her audience. Well, when that happens, it's time to pack. Time to leave. Well, what happens yeah. with Dave in some ways, you know? He used to work for David Letterman, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dave got was it the Dave got tired of it? Is that it? Yeah, but he also felt like he was giving all of us a job and he couldn't leave. He was the Ruth Bader Ginsburg of late night. He was waiting for <laughs> Leno to quit before he'd quit. He was, yeah. he was here in Ohio two days ago in Yellow Springs at Antioch College where Dave Chappelle lives. We did the Dave Chappelle thing, yeah. Yeah, he was doing an interview. Some friends of mine were there and saw him across the street, took a picture. Yeah. But 
Uh-oh. And he's a very nice person, but, you know, it's just what it is. And one of my friends said, yeah, it was a, we, we worked in a very toxic environment also. And I was thinking, like, I never really noticed that, but, yeah, it was. Was it really? Toxic yeah, but it perfected me. We'll go over here. We don't, need, we don't have a time constraint. We're toxic in what way, Shecky? Ah... Uh, you always seemed happy there. I was because I stayed out of it. Yeah. <laughs> what was your role? He. I have no idea. Well, the title, <laughs> the title on the credits was film coordinator. Which they came up with in 1982, and I never cared enough to have a meeting with someone to change the title. So I will say, theoretically, one of the producers, but we had like 20 what of them. What was nice, though, was when the credits would come up, when they run the full credits, uh, they would have writers, and then you'd have like 20 names, right, that would roll by. Uh, producers, five names that would roll by. Then it says film coordinator, and there's only one name there. So your name yeah. really stood out. <laughs> but back in 1982, I had a projector in my office. I had film reels in my office. But, you know, by the end, none of that, you know. Yeah. You were the tape coordinator. <laughs> how, how aware were people who worked there what was going on in his office when that whole controversy happened? We kind of knew what was going on, but I never had it, quote, can I say confirmed, uh-huh. suspected, but I never could tell you 100%. She was on the show enough that you began to think maybe there was something going on there. I mean, I know people that, as I'll say, let's say 90% assured he slept with them, but I could never give you that extra 10% Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I always kind of suspected that it was well stealth, and that the, the you know, and again, not to because again, who was what, was her, what was her name? Which the, one? The, the one that the 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 the, the big brew. Oh, um, yeah, I can't think right now. She's a writer on some oh. show on the West Coast. She's still yeah, in. No, uh, oh, here's what happened. He put, he put her through law school. Put her through. Put her through law school. <laughs> you know. So that isn't exactly taking advantage of somebody, yeah. you know? I mean, depending on what you want to think, you know. But this goes back to the 80s. And again, I have no confirmation. I was always told there was a contest between Costas, Brian Gumble, and Dave as to who could sleep with the most pages. <laughs> <laughs> How about and you? No. You know, so whatever. Winner. Who, by the way, who won? I don't know, but I think I went out with her once because I was told not to bring her to a party. Oh, oh really? Who? What do you mean? You don't know who the page was. Hmm. But I was taking her to maybe it was the third Christmas party, one of them, and one of the associate producers said, Don't bring her. So, of course, I did. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but no, but there was the one, there was the one woman who he used to have on. Yeah, the show. I'm going up with him right now. Yeah, the shows her on the show mind. all the time and so on, and you kind of went. I think the one he had the show every week. Yeah, yeah, and uh, when it all came down, uh, he, he did he send her to law school before the incident? Oh, before she was already had passed through law school, yeah, and she had nothing bad to say about him. This was all a boyfriend who released this. Uh, right, it was the boyfriend point. who tried to blackmail Dave. Yeah. And, and Dave, what happened was Dave found it on the seat of his car that this guy says, give me X number of dollars I or I'm going to out you. His lawyer was on the next plane out of Los Angeles and Dave went before the grand jury. Yeah. And the guy went to jail. Yeah. Dave didn't put up with it. He said, I'll take the heat. I don't want, nobody should get away with this. Did and if he you ever say watched, something on television? Oh, Wait, he did a whole, he did a he whole. He did a whole thing on he television. On the show one night and people thought it was a, comedy routine where I he's remember. like you know this this morning i went to the grand jury to testify against this man not naming him because and did i sleep with interns yes i did yeah. and then there's laughter from the audience because they think it's a comedy routine in fact didn't one of them become his wife no she was a production manager Oh, okay. Well, come on. She was, uh, you know. <laughs> the the woman's name was Stephanie Burkett? Yes. 
Stephanie. Yeah. Yes. But no, Regina, his now wife, he was going with her when he was still with Meryl. Yeah. So, his, no, look, I mean, what can I tell you? I mean, how, how mad could his wife be about Stephanie? Because she did the same thing with Meryl. And they weren't married at the time he was, quote, having the affair with Stephanie. Okay. So, so if you want, you know, if you want to parse words, yeah. They, it wasn't a married couple. Yeah. Yeah. They were a couple, though. Yeah, but that was a. That oh was, yeah, they were a couple, but they. I, I, I like the way Dave handled that. I mean, what you do is you walk right into it. You don't let somebody get away with it. Well, you don't let it drip, 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 like Ellen is doing at the moment. And and by the way, it went away. It went away yeah. really fast. Well, yeah. if it happened now, we'd be off the air yesterday. In the wonderful world of cancel culture, yep. Yeah. What were in terms? Ellen, Ellen is going to be a ghost. Let me, I hear Corden, I hear Corden's going to get the show. Really? Or yes. the time clock. You know, that's what Warner's is now thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, look how the world's changed when you can't have sex with an intern. You know? What else are they there for? <laughs> what, you, right, Len? Absolutely. You know. Well, once we got to CBS, I never went out with an intern again. I got too old, maybe. But, you <laughs> know, an intern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Times change. What else can you say? Yeah. But you don't, I have never heard any woman on our staff say something bad about Dave. I never went to sleep with any of the women that I worked with. <laughs> Wait, say that again. I never <laughs> slept with any of the women that I worked with. I had Lori Thompson, who was a news woman in. in and that was you know, nice of you to stay awake, Alex. Yeah, every, right. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. <laughs> but everybody would say to me, "Aren't you and Lori having something going on?" And well, I wasn't, tell wasn't them no. Okay, Lori. I never got that feeling. And when I went to uh, when we went to Spain together to Ibiza after being in Barcelona for the Olympics, we took a hotel room together, slept in the same bed, and we didn't have sex. You know, it just, it was that kind of thing where I valued the business relationship more than I valued my dick, okay? <laughs> uh, and I've had a lot of other women who work with me. One of the most gorgeous women I've known was uh, Christy, she was known as Christy Frazier at the time, who worked for me in San Francisco. And I I, I, she was gorgeous and I never ever hit on her, even though everything, every instinct in me wanted to. Okay. So I will say, I did sleep with one of your producers once. Which one? <laughs> Which one? Irene. Irene? Good luck. Aguilera? Good luck. She's the one that ratted me out to my wife that I was having sex with. Women. Which wife? <laughs> Ron, uh, Susan. Ron, um, what's her name? Susan. Yeah, she went and told Susan, you know, your husband, <laughs> while he does these shows, the Keystone stays in hotels, brings girlfriends with him. <laughs> and uh, my wife uh, got really mad, and that's the night that I moved out, moved into what was I called my office in San Francisco in the marina, and uh, I stayed there for the rest of my time in San Francisco. And the rest is history, ladies and gentlemen. And I got rid of Hi Irene. I went to the boss. I said, we got to get rid of Irene. She says, she's a woman. She's Hispanic. Yes, she was Mexican. Yeah, we can't get rid of her. I said, well, then I'm not sticking around because I'm not working with that woman because here's what she did. I said, it has nothing to do with, her, with the fact that she's a woman or what race she is. She just ratted me out to my wife, you know? Well, it was only once, and then afterwards, you and I went out to dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, anyway, uh, and it was fine because then I could take any girlfriend I want to to the show. So <laughs> not have to put up with it. <laughs> anyway, um, and so the weather looks great there in Hawaii, Howard. It does. It does. It, it, that's a picture you put up because it's pretty much that way every day, right? It really is. That's a picture I took. It's Kahana. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's partly cloudy, sunny. Going to be 80 something degrees today, just like yesterday. How, and how like expensive tomorrow. is Hawaii to live in? What is today? Expensive. Uh, cheaper than New York. Uh, I would imagine. But you had a New York. a few weeks ago, didn't you? That's warm. Yeah. In Hawaii. Hmm? 
No, I said there was a, a, a hurricane came through Hawaii. Yeah. We saw. It missed us. We've had oh. two in, um, since they've been tracking, they've only been two actual hurricanes that actually made landfall. But and they, they said the virus one of them wiped out too. one of them wiped out the making of Jurassic Park. Kauai, Iniki. Yeah. yeah, they had to they had to finish off, I don't know, using Lucas's backyard or something, or Spielberg's backyard. And the virus, isn't the virus spiking in Hawaii? No. No? No. no. We got well, like forty five of... cases this week. But one of my bosses, my old bosses, lives in Hawaii and asked for masks. Huh. Well, we wear masks, but we don't. The problem is, is the virus isn't here yet, and we're not letting anyone come. But Good eventually, when people come, we will get spread. Yeah. Until then, we're training the people who live here to wear masks. Yeah. <laughs> really? Next, I know that Brian has to get back to work and has to leave that isolation booth. You look <laughs> no. like you're on the old quiz game show 21. Yeah. Uh, uh, I need the earphones. And no, it's. Or that was another question. And Len's got to go back and work on his uh, on what will be his next movie, right, Len? I, I actually got a part last night. I'll be starring in a as a uh, as an evil landowner. I think we talked about this last week in a in a movie about a animals. I don't even know what it is yet. But. Really? Good luck. Awesome. <laughs> Break a leg. Yeah. Well, it's for you. Current movie. I'll, I'll make sure you all go out and watch Death Blood Four on Death Amazon Blood. Prime Video. <laughs> yeah. That, that, What's it called? The, the, yeah, yeah. He, he plays the nasty, mean, horrible four. sheriff with uh, what one leg or something. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's, I didn't catch the name of the movie. It's Death, Death, Blood Four. Now you uh, don't have to know what went on in one, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> there are there unanswered questions in one, two, and three? There wasn't a one, two, and three. There was no That's one, two, and three. Joke, the whole movie. <laughs> I thought maybe there were some un unanswered questions that you had to make a movie. Well, what's What's interesting is the way he starts the movie is he shows you phony trailers from what from a one, two, and three <laughs> nice. to kind of get you up to speed. <laughs> Make believe, yeah, yeah. Death Blood. Huh? Give it a watch. It's 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 a fun little ninety minute romp. Andrew, you're in where Cleveland is it? Or, yeah, oh, yeah, Cleveland. What is that? A what What are you using for your background there? My bedroom here at the. Here at the <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not your bedroom. It's a padded cell. It's a conference room. It looks like a padded cell. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. Well, that's... here you go, Alex. Isn't it better? Uh, oh, <laughs> I like those. They, they tell me not to show my nipples on the screen. But I... <laughs> hey, Ben, Lucifer's back in three weeks. Is it really? Yep. Oh my God! I'm sorry. final season, isn't it? Final season? No, no, they renewed it again. Oh. What? They renewed it for another season after this. I thought this season they shot like fifteen, and they were going to play them off as two seasons. No, but they were also renewed it again for a new season yeah. after however they do it. I, I can't get Marjorie into Lucifer, and she really should. It's a great show. My, my group's coming back, so I got to go. Okay. okay. See you, Bye. See you guys I'll tomorrow night. Say goodbye See you too. later, Brian. Uh, uh, goodbye let, me, too. let me talk a moment. Bye, again. Marjorie. Again. Bye, bye. Checky. Bye, Brian. Uh, so, so Lucifer's coming back for another season. I think August twentieth. It starts up again on, I guess, Netflix now. Yeah. And then they've renewed it for another season, and no matter how many episodes. Wow. Or running for this season. That's amazing. Anybody watch Lucifer here? I did. Um, you do. You like it? I, I liked it, but I, it, it, it left the network and I haven't watched it. They haven't, is there a new season on Netflix that I haven't seen? Yes. It's like two seasons. I'll have to, I'll have to catch up. Well, no, it. it's one season. Then the, 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 Was that a split on, season? I mean, I'm not even. They're on season, have, season four. Season four is up. Okay. Season five will be going up. When did you say, Shecky? I think August twentieth. August twentieth, and we we lost Marjorie too. <laughs> well, you know when you're losing. She had a meeting. Wife. Yeah, when you're losing your wife. Yeah. She's on her way to the Keystone. Huh? You just can't hold an audience. Yeah, I just can't. She was on her way to that hotel where you were taking those girls. It was an investigation. And anyway, and and uh, Star Girl was great last night. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. But the bigger thing, General Hospital returned today. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Here she is. Isn't that a hot hey, old Alex, lady? Hey, Alex, look behind you. Isn't that a hot old lady? I'm... There you go, right? 
She really photographs well. As I say, with the clothes on, the gravity doesn't take over. So it's, <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's, it's good. Anyway. So I was watching actually a podcast of a one day at a time reunion, you know, Mackenzie Phillips, yeah. Valerie Bertinelli, you know, that show. Yeah. And yeah. just keep talking yeah. about the fact that Bonnie Franklin, the mother, would never wear a bra. Oh, really? Yep. On the air. Yeah. Yep. I remember that. Oh, and all I you would, you know, I, look, I don't, I have never watched the repeats. All you could see were her nipples. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to look, see if that's on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> nice headlights. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> no, she that, wouldn't that was bear. Was bad. Hey, listen, so uh, I think it's time for us to uh, stop all of this. Uh, and uh, I don't even know how to stop the. Well, how do I stop? Oh, there. That, wait, how right. do I, no, I stop the recording? I got to go answer the door. I can't Good see you, Alex. We'll talk soon. Anyway, all thank right. you all. I appreciate Thanks. your participation. Thanks for having us, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Ben. Talk to you soon. Glenn and Andrew and uh, Albert and Marjorie and uh, who else left us? Oh, yes, Brian. Uh, did I mention everybody? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you. hopefully we'll see you again uh, next week, okay? Yeah, I, w I want to join one of the nighttime shows and say hi. Well, please do. We would love to yeah. see you. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Bye Alex. Bye -bye. Okay, Ben. Talk okay. to you soon. Uh, and